now we will see the coil there is a two type of coil rf coil and simple coils rf has a two coated you can see the two type of wirings are there and there will be a two or four legs below to this coil and this is another coils we will uh, remove these type of coils and we will show you how to check it see uh, we will remove how to remove these coils from the normal coils not an smd coils it is a normal coil smd coils we will say on the motherboard these are the normal coils we will removing these two types of coils we will remove we will use the solder iron and the solder pin or the solder wick anything we will see the legs of its from the top side then we will apply some solder then we will use the desolder pump and press the pump so that the solder will be pick up see how it's work you can see it is melted and when we use the desolder pump the solder has been pick up by the desolder pump and its hole is very clear see we have pressed the leg below so the now see now this coil is outside it is polarized you can see its position if there is a pointing is given then it is a polarized but there is a no pointing is given so we can fit anyway non polarized now we will check the inductor it resistivity will be you can check the resistivity is zero there is a no resistivity in this it is an coil so the current flow will be delay in this function they are using as a delay of the power search okay now we will insert this coil again on the board and apply some uh, solder on the legs this is a normal coil 